Good morning, everyone. Welcome. Welcome to Cedar sinai Welcome to Virtual Medicine. Glad to see you all here up and early. My name is Brennan Spiegel. I'm the Director of Health Services Research here at Cedar sinai and the director of this course, and together with my co-director, Dr. Brandon Burkhead, who I think is running around somewhere, there he is, I want to thank you all and welcome you here to Cedar sinai for our second annual, annual uh, virtual medicine conference. So VR has this ability to counteract the ruminating mind, and we've been seeing this firsthand here at Cedar sinai This is a uh, VR experience, a 360 video called, created by the Dolphin Swim Club. And uh, we use this all the time in our patients. And just recently, I had a patient who was hospitalized for abdominal pain and anxiety. And the pain was severe, and she was in the hospital. And they called us in, because I'm a GI doctor, to see if we can figure this out. But she had had every test. She had had an endoscopy and a CT scan and blood tests, and everything was normal. And we put this on her. And after about four minutes of silence, she said, I think I know why I have this pain. And I said, tell me more. She said, it's my brother. Your brother? Yeah, it's my brother. He had stomach cancer and he died. And I'm sure I do too. And I'm going to die like he died. And I said, but we've been in your stomach. You don't have stomach cancer. She said, I know that, but I have not been willing to hear that. I haven't been willing to accept that. But these dolphins are telling me I need to. It's remarkable, just remarkable. She said, I could have been on the couch for a year and I would not have come to this conclusion. So what was happening in her brain at that moment? I don't have a functional MRI scan in the hospital to, you know, to roll around, but I suspect that it was like a temporary psychedelic, that we had inhibited that ruminating mind. It was like asking the conductor of the orchestra to leave and let the rest of the orchestra kind of have jam sessions. That could be cacophonous, but they could also have amazing music. And the rest of her brain was able to start making connections that it normally wouldn't because it was all normally going through that central hub of the ego self which had dissolved temporarily to allow this insight. And we've seen this over and over again. It doesn't work in all people at all times, but when it works, it works. And we've seen this over and over again. And there's a number of studies now beyond just in, in individual anecdotes, and these are some, and we'll hear about more, that are demonstrating the benefits of VR for anxiety and for depression. 